Hey guys, I need some content to fill on my YouTube channel, so I thought for the hell of it, one of the little projects I'm doing, I thought I'd share it with you. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be painting four of these black, and these black as well. But before I do that, I'm going to prime them first, and I thought, you know, instead of leaving them on the, on the table like this, I thought I might use some... Um, little steel wire here and leave them hanging that way I can spin them I can like spray underneath them and all around without having me to flip things over so to do that my plan was is to use this so I'm going to use this board for length distance I'm going to use this to make these wire pieces that go back um, straight across and then I can hang them on there so to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to nail this onto this board and then this will be nailed onto that. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to rough guess this because it, it's not that important. Like this is going to be ripped out after. I'm just going to mark where I'm going to possibly be putting these pieces. I don't know if I'm going to be using three. I doubt it on the distance of that board. But I'll do that anyways. So I'm just going to nail it in here. It's right beside a, a knot. I might just keep it together because I can use this sometime in the future for something else. Alright, so I now have those in there, as you can see. I don't care if they slope or not, this thing's not supposed to be uh, completely level. I don't care. Alright, so I need that board. Okay, so you got my nails here. Just got them off to the side. Move these blocks off here. And I can use the back end of this thing. I guess. Right. Wonder if I could just like, you know, I don't have room for that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the back end, the anvil part of this. I should just make these things stick on there first. No, do that later. So I'm using cheap ass nails. Give me a sec, I'll fix that. Now I got different nails here. Oh yeah, these will work better. A nail here, like so. Okay. Another one on the other side. Kind of piece of shit, but you know, it's not supposed to look pretty. It's only supposed to be temporary. So I'm gonna put a couple more nails in here. That's four of them. Enough. All right. So basically, what I just did is I just nailed these blocks onto here. Like I said I was gonna do. Now I'm also going to be nailing this. I guess in the center here. It really doesn't fucking matter where. Yeah, the roof had to stop there. So yeah, look at that distance. Yeah, that works. Look at that. That's all it has to be. Just wrap a wire straight across. Put those pieces on. That's all I was wanting to do. <laughs> Fuck off, mosquito. <laughs> I know you. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you stay over there. I hate fucking mosquitoes. Alright, flip this thing around. Do the same up here. So I've stabbed myself in the face. The other one. Yeah. At least it poked me right in the fucking in the forehead. <laughs> fucking mosquito. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So that's it. I made my piece. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask dirty. Crooked as fuck. Seriously, it's real crooked. Look at that. 
Like you said, it's only a quick thing. It doesn't have to be fucking special. As long as it just holds in two nipples, washers on it. That's it. What I'm gonna do now is I hope I got enough wire here. If not, I got a bunch of this shit everywhere. So this one would go right about there. You're probably run wondering why I'm doing this project to begin with. I'll explain. Is we made little pieces for mud flaps for a 96 Dodge Wonton Dually. The person who put the mud flaps on it before fucked up, didn't put the bolts on tight, so the plastic pieces fucking broke right off. Um, actually, one of them stayed on, the other one like came right off and landed, I don't know where, somewhere on the highway a long time ago. So, there we go. Don't need this wire anymore. It's not a bad little wire. Fucking surprising. Another buck or two. Just the wire. Like so. Good enough. Just the wire. Like so. Good enough. Ain't going nowhere. And it'll just tighten right up against there. So put the nipple on the wire. the other nipple like so twist it around there we go fuck it's using the those pliers yeah that's a lot more straighter now sweet and I'll just snip off this extra shit so I won't poke anybody in the face seven on each line cool okay that's it all I just have to do is take it outside Spray paint it. You know, just have them like this. That way, now I can spray on this side, that side, underneath, up. If I need to, I can roll it a little bit. You get the idea, right? Alright. So, what I'm going to do is spread this out a bit. There you go. I hope that the uh, ammo primer doesn't push them around which is probably going to end up happening keep my distance and sp on spraying here should move it <laughs> yep Ooh, that's going right for my camera. God damn it. Oh, that looks good. Just have to wipe the lens off, I guess. Threads around. All right, so far that's exactly what it looks like. Oh, trying to get my head in the way there. Cool idea, huh? Wait for that dry. I'm gonna hit it again, and then I'll come back with the black. I'll record that. Alright, so I'm not even going to put my camera on my tripod. I'm going to hold it this time because I don't want the spray paint to hit the camera. Some stupid fucking weird ass can. Who the fuck puts this shit on there? Seriously. Look at this. Some weird ass lock. That you gotta slide on up. Take it off. Yeah, you can fucking stay off. Some stupid ass can. What happens just to the normal sprayer? You know, like that. What's wrong with that? Should I put that shit on it? Really? This shit spits. Not a very good can. Look at that. It's fucking spit.
This is a shitty fucking can. Oh shit. Not paying attention where I'm spraying here. You see it? Okay, flip these around. Like so. This can sucks ass. I know garbage when I see it. Just gotta do that a couple more times. And she's good. Alright, so it is the next day. I thought I would leave this shit sit for a night. I thought I would show you guys what it looks like here. As you can check it out. Barely. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this all the way over here. I'm going to start taking these wires off. So to do that, let me put you on my tripod. Move it over here. Yeah, that should do it. Alright, so I'm going to take the bottom one off first. I'm just going to unwrap this. Like so. Pull them out. And I'll just stick them right here on the side. Alright, do the same thing with both wires up here. Just want to make sure I don't scratch them. Although, they're going to be for mud flaps, so... Who gives a shit, right? <laughs> They're gonna get full of mud and ice eventually, so. But I like to take pride in projects I do. Even though that they'll get destroyed in use. Well, not destroyed, but dirty as fuck. Still think this was uh, the best way to paint these. So, I'm just gonna look through one of them. Oh, my fingerprints are <laughs> making them look weird. And I'll show you what they look like in the light. So that's perfect lighting right there. So that's exactly what they look like now. On both sides. Here, I'll flip this one over. And that's what these pieces look like. It's pretty damn good. Say so myself. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy that little project. Now, that's how I painted my washers and my little nipples. Anyways, this was just a filler for my YouTube channel, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time. If you want to see more weird little projects like this that maybe could give you an idea in the future, let me know. And I might just make more. <laughs>